Hello, I'm Emma and welcome to my tutorial on free motion embroidery. Today I'm going to show you how to do the, the pebble or the, the random circle effect. Okay, I've just got my machine set up for free motion, feed dogs are dropped, I've got my free motion foot on and I'm running a tension on the top of about four and a half. Okay, we're good to go. So when you're doing free motion circles, you just draw a circle and you want to go around it a couple of times and that will make it really stand out. Now the trick is with free motion circles is to get the second one right sat on top of your first one. It doesn't matter on circles if you overlap a lot, little bit it just adds to the effect. It's great to do if you're doing a path or something like that on your, uh, your quilt. The circles really works. I don't get it on top every time and that's not a problem. It doesn't, it doesn't detract anyway. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just doing circles or ovals, pebbles really. You think of nature, they're not all circular, are they? So it doesn't really matter. Do some small ones in the middle. Do a nice big one here. This is one of my personal favourites, I just love the effect. As you can see, I'm not exactly over the top every time. But I don't let it worry me. So if you find you've put a couple of larger ones in and you've got a smaller gap, like here, you just go back and do a couple of little ones. And you just walk through to the areas that you need to cover. So as you can see, you're getting the effect. I'll just do a couple more and then I'll show you. As you can see on that last one I went off, but it's not a problem because by the time you've finished it, it'll just add to the overall effect. And you can see there's quite a, quite a texture on there. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed it. Any questions, please feel free to comment and I'll try and answer them. If not, 